Hi, in this video I'm going to be reading an email I received from a viewer and answering it. And Hopefully by answering this question I can help someone else out there as well. So I'll read the question in its entirety and then I'll do my best to answer it. So this is pretty much unprepared, so I'm just reading the question <laughs> and answering it. So I'll do, I'll do the best I can. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Francisco and I am from Ecuador. English is not my mother tongue, but I am learning it a long way ago. I love your YouTube channel. It's awesome. <laughs> I would like to improve my math level. I got my mechanical engineering diploma because I want to focus on pure math. So I would like to know, I need your advice. Which order do I need to follow to complete your courses in a logic way? I'm looking forward to your answer. Sincerely, Francisco. So he's talking about um, my Udemy courses. So I do have some courses on Udemy. So let me give you two answers. Um, so first, about the order of the courses, um, I've got a couple courses on there. Um, I don't. I don't think I have a course on how to write proofs yet. Um, but that's really what you need. So my advice would be if you want to buy uh, some of my courses, <laughs> you definitely should use my website, right? Or use any of the links that is in every single one of my videos. If you go to any of my videos, there's a link there. Please use that link if you sign up for the course. And I would recommend the course on set theory, the course on functions, and the abstract algebra course and the advanced calculus course. All those courses are great. Um, the advanced calculus course and the abstract algebra course actually have exercises and they're organized really well. So it's a little bit better than YouTube because on YouTube, everything's so scattered and it's just really hard to get structure. As far as books, my advice would be to um, go to a website like BookFinder and find some books on proof writing because if you're trying to go from mechanical engineering into mathematics it's all about proofs right you already got some calculus under your belt you know some physics which is really good right that's going to give you a, a big advantage in some sense a lot of a lot of math majors don't know uh, a lot of physics and you probably know a lot more applied math than most people who do math because of your mechanical engineering background and just look for some books on proof writing um, there's all kinds of books on proof writing um, out there the one by bond and Keen is pretty good there's a free one on the internet it's called the book of proof just google the book of proof really good book I've read maybe two chapters from it and I've done maybe 15 20 problems it's pretty good um, you can pick up a book on discrete math those often have um, sections where they talk about proof writing the one by Epp is pretty good again this is just off the top of my head uh, how to prove it is also a good book uh, a transition to advanced mathematics is also a good book and I'm sure I'm missing some so uh, my advice would be to get those courses and get a couple books right try to get as many as you can as cheaply as you can on proof writing and focus on you know how to write proofs because that is the most important thing right once you know how to write proofs you can learn more math you can pick up a book on abstract algebra and you can look at my abstract algebra course and you can follow along by the way uh, a good book for that one would, would would be the abstract algebra book by Dan Saracino that's a good book for my abstract algebra course but um, yeah get some books on proof writing get those courses if you want uh, I think the books, I'm all about books, you know, I want you to buy my courses that's better, but the books are better, I think, right, because books have more information than my courses have, but yeah, please buy the courses, and definitely try to get some books, I would try to use BookFinder, because they, they search Amazon, they search Biblio, it searches all of the websites, so it gives you, like, the best possible price, now, I don't know uh, if they ship to Ecuador, so I don't know how that works, but it's pretty cool you're in Ecuador.